Stay tuned for comments after the video. Jim Backus explains untried ideas in housing and the latest innovations in household appliances. In the Mouse Factory, next on the Disney Channel. And now for a Disney quiz. Can you describe Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse, he's about uh, four and a half feet tall with big black ears and a funny nose and uh, he bounces around. He's always smiling, having a good time. The Disney Channel. And now, Mickey Mouse proudly presents The Mouse Factory. Uh, I'm Jim Backus, and welcome to the Mouse Factory. Let's see now, I, I think I've got everything. These are the blueprints, very important. Here's a little building permit you have to stand in line. Here's the labor and material estimate, so important, and insurance for fire, theft, flood, <laughs> tornado, earthquakes, little phenomena like that. And of course, here is the first, second, and third mortgage. So we're all ready to take a fun-filled look at that great American dream, <laughs> owning your own home. <laughs> Household hint number 210. When hanging up a picture, always make sure your footing is firm. Otherwise, you may end up off your rocker. Now, over here, we have a dandy little compact number. Now, just watch what happens when I flick this switch. And there you have a beautiful vacation home complete with indoor swimming pool, badminton court, and main ballroom. And this dandy little gem is a steal, a complete steal at $100,000. Ah, yes, I uh, see you gentlemen are interested in a smart little economy number, and, and quite a bargain it is for a mere $200. Of course, the 200 is just for the basic shell. <laughs> As we say in the mobile home, it's a little joke, you know what I mean? Now, uh, naturally, you want the accessories, which include the wheels, tires, tow bar, carpet, window, safety pack, luxury bag, kitchenette bath, that living room, and sauna bath, wiring, taxes, undercoating. I think we can take you for a ride. I mean, we can get you on the road comfortably for a mere $7,900. Now, if you'll just sign here for our uh, friendly sales representative who will... <laughs> oh, Mickey Mouse, obviously a, a Harvard man. Knew you very well. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well, there go three more pioneer spirits on their way to another fun-filled mobile home adventure in the great American wilderness. Oh, boy, what a thing. spot coverage of the latest and most popular sport in the country, the Good Neighbor Game. Uh. 
through a musical odyssey of magic and adventure in Donald Duck Presents, next on the Disney Channel. Keep smiling. You're watching the Disney Channel. In this video, we watch the opening to the Mouse Factory as it aired on the Disney Channel in 1983, along with a few scenes and the end credits. In the video, we also saw some of the bumpers and IDs used by the Disney Channel during its first year of operation in 1983. The Mouse Factory was a Disney syndicated show from 1972 featuring well-known TV stars of the era who performed comedy skits and introduced cartoon shorts from the Disney library. Each show was themed around a particular topic. In this video, we saw Jim Backus of Gilligan's Island fame host an episode built around the topic of homeowners. During the early days of the Disney Channel, they aired this program along with other similar cartoon compilation shows like Good Morning Mickey and Donald Duck Presents to fill out their schedule. Even though The Mouse Factory originally aired in 1972, many credit it as the predecessor to the show Mickey Mouse Works, which aired almost 30 years later from 1999 to 2000. It's certainly possible this show at least inspired that show. After all, both show logos have gears in place of the letter O's in their logos. Mickey Mouse Works was later replaced by House of Mouse in 2001, which aired many of the same cartoon shorts featured on Mickey Mouse Works, but within a fictional show put on by famous Disney characters at a nightclub called The House of Mouse. The Mouse Factory aired for two years in syndication from 1972 to 1973, with a total of 42 half-hour episodes. Some of the other stars who hosted episodes include Jonathan Winters, Don Knotts, Dom DeLuise, Kurt Russell, Ken Berry, John Astin, Nipsey Russell, and Annette Funicello. I've only seen a few episodes of this show myself. Other than the nostalgic value, it doesn't offer much by way of entertainment. It is fun seeing the celebrity guests perform the little comedy skits, but many of the skits go on way too long, and I think they actually take away from the enjoyment of watching the cartoons. I think a much better presentation of these cartoon shorts can be found on the show Mousterpiece Theater or even Good Morning Mickey and Donald Duck Presents. Still, it would be nice to see this show added to Disney+, Plus, at least for some of that 1970s Disney nostalgia. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro-themed videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com. Stock photos.